jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. <sighs> There's some background birds tweeting and singing. So if you don't like hearing birds, then maybe this might not be the recording for you. I personally love the sounds of birds when I'm going to sleep, but it's, it's down to personal preference, isn't it? Although the pigeon does annoy me a little bit, sometimes. So I'm just going to ask you to focus on what other background sounds you can hear, either on this recording or where you are. for this is because I think it's really useful to be able to teach yourself to be able to just fall asleep regardless of what sound saying that you should be able to fall asleep and not be disturbed by a helicopter in the garden because that, that could be well, it would be very noisy and uh, I probably wouldn't even attempt to fall asleep in fact I'd be too busy probably filming it wondering why there was a helicopter in the garden to start with noticed because I sleep during the day and I didn't used to be able to when I was younger well everything was when I was younger but when I was I don't know teens 20s 30s even 40s part of my 40s I needed it to be quiet for me to fall asleep. I no longer need that. So I could lay down on my bed. My body relaxes naturally. My head touches the pillow and my mind slows down. And as I've talked about many times in the past on these recordings, I actually get in touch with the pleasant feeling of being in bed. I sleep on my own and it means I have the whole bed to myself so I can spread out. Sometimes I'll, I'll cuddle a, a pillow, which is a, maybe a bit weird, but maybe I need to get myself a teddy bear or something. And I get in touch with the pleasure, the physical pleasure of that relaxation. noticed is when I'm lying there and it might be 10 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning because uh, I sleep probably you should go to bed about half seven in the morning sometimes a bit later. 
or it might be in the afternoon, I might be in bed in the afternoon. And I might just be lying there. And I've noticed that my ears seem to just turn off. It's, I know it sound, probably sounds strange, but it's almost like closing my eyes, but closing my ears. But not actually trying to. It just seems to happen. And I don't hear anything. And then maybe there'll be a sound. Perhaps someone will start a lawnmower or something like that. And I'll have to go into the living room and say, get out of my flat. Anyway, then I might hear a lawnmower and I suddenly realise that the sound's there. And then I drift a bit and the sound just stops. So my eye, my ears close, not just when I'm asleep, but they, when I'm relaxing deeply. So when you think about it, the benefits of relaxing your body and your mind. I mean, there's the obvious uh, reduction of stress and reduction of anxiety and, you know, increased relaxed body muscles and slowing down of the mind. But also, when you relax, physical feelings such as chronic pain issues reduce, sometimes they disappear completely whilst you're relaxing. So someone maybe with sciatica or arthritis or back issues, it could be anything, a fibromyalgia, and as they listen to my voice, as you listen, your body just relaxes. And when your body relaxes, chronic pain reduces. Because deep relaxation and chronic pain can't they can't stay in the same area. They can't stay in the same place two separate things, almost opposites. So, that's another benefit of relaxing deeply. Another one is when your mind is relaxed, no longer care about the things that you used to care about. And I'm not talking about, you know, important things like loved ones and your job and your home. And I'm not talking about that kind of caring. I'm talking about things that maybe may bother you in other situations. Just don't don't affect you at all. They hardly register. It's almost, you know, those, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this. On some walls, they have this anti-climbing paint. It's basically, it's too slippery so that kids or thieves can't climb over the wall. It's a little bit like that, so that those, for example, that pigeon in the garden, or those 
starts making a sound, it turns from being noise into sound. Because the word you know, noise, it's an emotional word. And it's, for me, there's anger and frustration connected with that word noise. But sound, it's almost a releasing sound it may seem like it's trying to climb over the wall but it can't it just slips down again so it can't affect you the way that maybe you used to feel affected by such things in the past that could feel a bit strange to no longer be bothered about something that used to bother you now you could not care one bit because right now as you lay in your bed your head touches the pillow your mind is pretty much just slowed down stimulation really is just listening to my voice but it sounds as if my voice is not going in your ears anymore but it's just traveling directly to your nervous system to your brain stem sending those messages of relaxation and calmness and sleepiness directly to every part of your body as your ears seem to be closed your ears seem to be closed and it can feel quite strange to it's almost like telepathy I'm communicating It's words, but it's a there's an emotion that arises, a feeling of well being, a feeling of comfort and safety spreading directly from your brain stem down your spinal cord all the way down, relaxing every bone and muscle. seems laughable, seems practically impossible, and you feel this safely relaxed and calm. Safe. special about not having to do anything not needing to think about the 